and welcome back to another episode of James Games. I am your titular host, I am James, and what's this? I've not come back to this in quite some time. This is Bear With Me. Now, one of the very first games that I played on the channel was Bear With Me, and it was episode one, and I explained at the beginning of the video that eventually I would get round to episodes two, three, and if I can, I will also do the Lost Robots. So, I am back again with episode two. So, just a quick recap then. So what happened in episode one? Well, we had the young girl, it's been a while since I played this, so I can't remember her name. Uh, she is being chased, or she is investigating, should I say, um, a character known as the Red Man. The Red Man has appeared a few times, and he's a bit of an eerie spook inspector, so it's quite interesting. Helping the young girl is the ever-reliable, witty, and rather sarcastic uh, Detective Ted E. Bear. As you can see, he's the one on the left when you're looking at Bear With Me, The Lost Robots. But we've managed to go through the investigation enough to get into Paper City. So that's where we're going into next. Hopefully I've not done episode two, so this is all new. But anyway, without further ado, let's continue the mystery of Bear With Me. Well, 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 look what the booze dragged in. Wow, that was really bad. Cut me some slack, all right? I had a long night. Hi, Betty. Long time no see. Not long enough. Always a charmer, Ted. Hi, darling. It's been a while. You're still as pretty as ever, and you've grown. Oh, uh, thank you, Betty. You look amazing. Are you getting ready for a casting call? Huh, yeah. It's for a movie called 24 Hour Shift Survivor. You really look the part, babe. Don't be rude. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you talking, Bear? I couldn't hear you over the sound of you being so short. It's like you're not even trying anymore. Ah, I missed you, Bear. Literally. So yeah, are we going to pretend that never happened? You had it coming. Wait, what? Yeah, your bestie here tried to shoot me. I'm sure you deserved it. He did. Women, you can't kill him but they'll sure as hell try to kill you. Oh, please stop being such a drama queen, Ted. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead. What are you talking about? You missed my head by half an inch, grazed my left ear, and I fell out of a 20th floor window. I was in the intensive care for two weeks, and you didn't even have the face to show up. Did you not get the flowers? I did. They were lovely. And nothing says I'm sorry like a funeral wreath. Sorry? After what you did, I'm thinking I should finish the job right now. Hell hath no fury indeed. It seems you two have a history together. That's an understatement. Never mind that now. Avoiding touchy subjects as always, I see. You've matured so much, Ted. No, not at all. It's just we're kind of in a hurry. We're looking for Flint. Have you seen him lately? or talk to anyone who has. Flint? Oh, I've heard about that. Darling, I'm so sorry. Thank you, Betty. We actually thought he might be here in Paper City. I'm afraid I haven't seen him for quite a while now. Have you seen CBG? I was told he hangs around the harbor lately. Yeah, he's here all right. And hanging around is really the perfect choice of words. How can we find him? You can start at the container terminal. 
He's been there almost every night for the past couple of weeks, chasing seagulls and yelling at the terrified harbor workers. You talked to him lately? He comes in every so often, usually waits for everyone to leave and then sneaks in. He almost gave me a heart attack the other day. What happened to him? He was brilliant once. Best detective in the whole world. Well, second best. <laughs> Anyways, one day he just snapped and he was never the same again. I guess that kind of lifestyle takes its toll on people. Just ask Ted here. It's only a matter of time before he starts raving on the streets about seagulls and populace control. But Ted's retired. Yep. Here I am, just enjoying my retirement. Retired? Hmm, never took you for a hobbyist. <sighs> and no, Ted, getting drunk isn't a hobby. Recently, we came across some evidence suggesting the Red Man might have something to do with Flint's disappearance. I know you've heard about him, so... What's going on here, babe? What's going on, Ted, is that this maniac came down to the city with the sole purpose of burning it down to the ground with everyone still in it. I don't know what the hell he is, but judging by the stories, he's the devil himself. I pray that he didn't have anything to do with Flint's disappearance. Who told you about Flint? Blabbermouth was here recently. It seems he's doing some sort of investigation on the events surrounding the Red Man. Hmm. He's looking to get killed, more likely. I'm sure he'll be just fine, Ted. He's been doing this for a long time. Doing what? Hiding in the bushes and going through people's trash cans? You should really give him more credit. Every case you solved, he was the one that wrote an expose about it. He basically made you famous. Huh. I'll send him a gift basket. He won't. Is he still writing for the paper daily? He's their top news hound. Is that Pete over there? Yep. That's old Pete. Who's Pete? He works here at the docks. He sure is. He has a bit of a drinking problem. You can relate, right? Don't get smart with me, babe. What exactly is he doing around here? Oh, this and that. Mainly he's in charge of the drawbridge and some other stuff. Is he off duty? I guess so. No bridges need drawing at the moment. Well, if you can wake him up, you can ask him that yourself. Good luck, though. I've been trying to wake him up for a while now. He's out cold. Yeah. Anyways, we're leaving. We have to find CBG. Thank you, Betty. Good luck with your next audition. Thank you, darling. Good luck with your case. And Ted. What? Be safe. Maybe we can get together someday after all this is over. Have a cup of coffee or something? Sure thing, babe. I'd like that. Bye, Betty. So, you and Betty. Shut up. Right, so if you remember correctly, this is very much a point and click game, so you can investigate things and look at certain certain um, objects, see if anything will come in handy. In the first part, I went ahead and I looked at an awful lot, so and I kept and I kept on going around in circles, so I apologise for that. But we are going to keep looking. Let's see if we can wake up this Pete. Nope, he's out for the count. So, what's the deal with the jukebox? I don't have any change. Hmm. Is there any change lying around, maybe? Dirty table, dirty table, dirty stuff, menu. Let's have a look. Alright, got an empty mug, a dirty bar. She really should keep that a lot more clean and tidy because you never know. You never know when, um, you know, environmental health are going to come and investigate, and that's the thing. Right, okay. There's nothing really of use. Sam, you can do something with the popcorn. Let's have a look, see, at that. I mean, maybe it can help. I'll just grab that while no one's looking. Good move. Right, cool. So... What the hell? What is... Oh, okay. I accidentally hit the sensor on the PS4, so... 
A lot of dirty dishes. My mom would literally freak out. Probably right. Let's just get off that. Okay, so what have I got? I have a pen knife, piece of cloth, if I remember correctly, and that's from the red man, and now the popcorn. Right, okay. There's nothing really else that we can really grab. Maybe the loaf of I bread. I prefer my food in liquid form. I'm sure you do, Ted. <laughs> yeah, crazy drunk. Right, okay. So. Beer with me. <laughs> Come on, you're better than that. It was a good little pun. Come on, had it coming. Right, Pete can't be woken up. Betty, what are you saying now? So might, if you can, remind me about CBG. Hi, Betty. Any chance we can bother you for a cup of coffee? Um, darling, I already cleaned out the coffee machine. Besides, you're a bit too young for coffee. It's not for her. Who's it for? I am so tempted for this. Yeah, fuck it. We need it to save the president's life. Yeah? And who is our president? That's a trick question. We don't have one. Ted, your aloofness knows no bounds. It's for me. <laughs> you're supposed to cure the hangover the next day, Bear. Not while you're still drunk. Oh, wow. Are you here all week? Is it the two drinks minimum? I mean, why isn't there a sitcom about you already? Actually, my agent is working on it. Don't let him work too hard. It's for the poor. Come on, who do you take me for? It's for the lab. We're getting into some molecular coffeeology. Whatever gets you off the streets, honey. But our coffee is just brown paint and water. Not much to analyze there. Is that... Is that a no on the coffee, then? That's a no, Ted. Right, okay. Can't get any coffee, boxes, nothing. Nimbus Supreme. That's some fancy broom. Still a broom, though. Right, okay. Dirty bar, windows, anything else. Ooh, fire alarm. It's just for decorative purposes. Nothing works here. <laughs> right. Cheers, Bear. Right, okay. Turns out there's nothing else. Maybe on the floor. What's that? Nothing. It's just a sofa, buttons and decoration, nothing else really I can see. Right, let's head outside. Okay, here we are outside. Trash can. I am not going through trash. I thought we established that. Well, if you want to save your brother, maybe... More like grayery. Ha! Puns, you've got him. But maybe, you know, Amber, you might want to, like, you know, save your brother. You're going to have to do things that you don't want to do. Right, daily specials. Anyway, we've got the diner here. We've got the diner sign. We've got a garbage dumpster. A mysterious looking dude named Clark. I'll come to you in a second. More greenery. Let's investigate the car. Are we just breaking into people's cars now? Don't worry, he won't mind. Or notice, we're both. It's Pete's car, looks shabby. Right, okay, nothing else. Let's go talk to Clark, see what he's got to say. Hi, Clark. Caught anything yet? Oh, great. It's you two. Nothing yet. I think I'll just call the night soon. I can't keep my eyes open anymore. So, you're fishing to get by. Times are tough. Fishing to get by? It's not the 1600s, Ted, now is it? No one fishes to get by anymore. I do it recreationally, like, as a hobby. In the middle of the night, while it's raining? Yeah, well, I got this raincoat, don't I? And I don't have to work in the morning. I'm a successful entrepreneur, actually. I made a fortune selling bubbles. Bubbles? It's all rather complicated. I can do a presentation if you have a minute. I'm afraid... Hell, no. He means we're in a hurry, but 
Maybe some other time? Fine! I, I guess I can just give you this pamphlet. You can read about it in there. Sure, we'll, um, read it later. <laughs> I can't wait. And you being here at this ungodly hour has nothing to do with a certain waitress, Clark. Betty? No, no, we're just friends is all. I'm not stalking her! Sure seems like it. Well, I'm not! I don't care what the court has to say, it's just I'm here because I like fishing. You're not even looking at the water, you're turned towards the diner. I don't have to look at the bloody water to fish, it's pitch dark anyways. When I see the pole getting twitchy, I, I get to reeling, that's it. Sure. All right, I'll just go back to it then, and I'm sure you're very busy. Can you, like, not stand there? You're scaring away the fish. And scaring away the you, more like it. Okay, bye. See you later, Clark. I'll be here. I bet you will. Can you, like, not stand there? You're scaring away the fish. I don't buy it. I think it's fake. I am not going through trash. I thought we established that. Go. you're gonna have to if you're gonna save your brother. Right, so that was Gregory. If they're so special, why are they not on the menu? Good point. You know what? That is a worthy point. Shells Bay. Shells Bay Diner, where everybody barely knows your name. <laughs> More like grayery. Oh, uh, if you're gonna say that every time. It's filled with the finest things, just top shelf stuff. Really? Okay, what else is around? We've got the fishing rod, clock. Any luck with the pretend fishing? <laughs> you're so funny, Snoop. He's really not. Okay, so we've got clock outside waiting Betty indoors and presumably they've got some kind of strange relationship can go further into paper city there or oh, what's down here down towards the bridge all right tell you what let's head towards the bridge see what we can find Okay, here we go. So what have we got here? Power cabinet. Oil can. This might come in handy. Just grab that real quick. Why don't you grab it real quick, short step? Alright, so we got another item. What's in the power cabinet? Nah, I don't feel like touching electrical stuff. God, you are the worst detective going. in the briefcase. Oh, we got this. Well, it looks like a safe. Who carries a screwdriver around? I'm pretty sure that's his car key. I'll take it with me. We can return it later. You'll just take it. Really? You? Oh, shut up. Right, okay. So now... You know what? Let's be polite. Let's have a look at this. Okay, I don't want to use it there. But yeah, we got screwdriver, which looks like a car key with a lucky rabbit's foot. We got the oil can, the pamphlet, uh, popcorn, and yeah, right. So windows, what's this? Hat. You used to have a hat just like this. What happened to it, Ted? It's a long story. Sure it is. Control panel. Magnets. A collection of magnets. How cute. Okay, so it's nothing special with this. All right, fair enough. All right, so cabinets. Let's have a look at the control panel. Let's see what we can do. All right. 
Let's give it a shot. Miss him. Launch nuclear strike. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Right. Instructions read carefully. And uh, all in a language that I can't read. Right, let's have a look. Button thingy. This. And another thingy. Display thingy. Point thingies. <laughs> thingies. Switch thingy. Shiny thingy. And the keyhole. Right. Okay. Missing fuse. Right, okay. So I'm missing a few. Missing a fuse. What's the switch thingy? Do I look like a bridge raising guy? Well, you do share a lot of the same habits. What's this round thingy, Ted? It looks like a plane turn coordinator, but that makes no sense. All right. What are these pointy thingies? Looks like the bridge level indicator display indicating that bridge is not lowered. Look at you, Mr. I know my stuff. We need to find the key for this panel. Could this work? Someone could get hurt that way. Hmm. All right. There's something missing, or my name isn't Barbara. The fuse is missing, Barb. What's this display thingy here? Looks like a direct access terminal, but that won't help us much. Nope. What's this thingy here, Ted? Should be a digital signal switch panel. What's this button thingy? Whatever you do, don't touch that one. Okay, okay. Just push it. Um. Oh boy. Let's just keep this between us. Did I just accidentally bomb someone? <laughs> oh, I just touched a button that I wasn't supposed to. I think I've just bombed somewhere. Oops. Right, okay. But anyway, let's get out of here. Definitely keep that, you know to ourselves, shall we? I wonder if I'll be able to see where I bombed. Alright, let's go back to the diner. Let's get into the car. Let's take a walk. Are we just breaking into people's cars now? Don't worry, he won't mind. Or notice, or both. Okay, where are you? There you are, that's what I want. Like a glove. I'll take this, it could be useful. Well, what did we just pick up? Ah, it's the fuse. Most excellent. Alrighty then. Cool. You know what, before we head over, shall I head back to Paper City? You know what, I'm going to quickly pop into the diner. I'm going to see if I can warn Betty about Weirdo Clark over there. Betty, any chance we can bother you for a cup of coffee? Um, darling, I already cleaned out the coffee machine. Besides, you're a bit too young for coffee. It's not for her. Who's it for? Alright, so I can't warn her about Clark. Ah, uh, well, she happens. Alright, so logically speaking, we could go all of the way to, you know, uh, back to the control room because we got the fuse, but 
Is it worth checking out Paper City first? There could be something in there that I could use. Let's have a look. If it gets a bit weird, we're out. We should get back to the Harbor Doll. I need to talk to CBG and see if he knows more about all of this. You're right. Let's go back. So what have we got here? We've got the diner. That's where we're at. Harbor, I'm assuming, is around here. Ho we've got hotel. Something. Power plant. What's that say? What? West Poor? Maybe. Huge Hollywood S sign that says Paper City. Yeah, okay. Then we got a factory just over here. Let's head back to the diner. At least we've got a fast travel system. Come on, you slow gits. Also, apologies for the sniffs. I'm a little bit under the weather at the moment. Straight in. Right, where was it? Do, 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 do. Control panel. You can't really tell, but that panel looks important. I have a keen eye for detective stuff. Then why aren't you going through the trash, huh? All detectives have to get their hands dirty, little Miss Princess. All right, let's give it a shot. All right, let's do this. Seems like a good idea, but something is missing. What's missing? It's the key. Need a key. What's the switch thingy? Do I look like a bridge raising guy? Well, you do share a lot of the same habits. Right, okay. We're missing the key. Now the question is, where is the key? Has Pete got the key? Or am I missing something in the room, like over here, manuscript? <clears throat> Elizabeth jumped from her chair suddenly, all of the while looking at her mother. She seemed nervous. Mom, she asked. What if Mr. Mason doesn't find me interesting or pretty? Oh, sweetie, Mrs. Baker said. Don't you worry your pretty little head with such nonsense. Mr. Mason comes from a long line of public servants like his father and his father before that. They're the most boring people on earth. I'm sure he'll find you quite invigorating. You really think so? Elizabeth asked. Elizabeth! Mrs. Baker raised her voice slightly, annoyed by her daughter's doubtfulness. I said you'll do just fine. Now hurry on! Get yourself presentable. He'll be here soon. But mother, Elizabeth said tremblingly, I'm already wearing my prettiest dress. Oh dear, her mother gasped. Elizabeth broke into tears and ran upstairs to her room, passing her father in the hall. Well, that was very entertaining. The sum of a man's life can be found on his office desk. Is that why yours is full of booze? It's not full of booze. I have important papers there as well. Right, trash can, but Little Miss Princess ain't gonna get herself in. Blah, 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 blah. Just an empty can. Right, okay, nothing special. The sum of a man's life. Is that why you- It's not full of- Yeah, we get it. Windows, lamp. We are not going to look for lamps again if that's what you're going for. Ha! Ah! Love it. Right, now it's the bridge, windows. Has to be something. Hats. Da, da, da. Ted, are you working here? Don't act smart. Right, I can't really see anything else like hanging on the walls or anything. What's this? Coat. Let's investigate. There are a couple of coins in here. We'll just borrow them. Wow. A first aid box. See if you have some medical alcohol. You know, for medical purposes. 
Okay, we've got coins, which means let's head back to the diner. So we got a jukebox to play. Watching you, Clark, you, f you little creep. I should put in some coins first. All right, come on, fortune. Can't reach it by hand. Nuts. Sleepy git went ahead and Wow, that thing has seen better days. I need to move these two out of the way because the sleepy git put something on the um drop something down below. Who's the cat that won't cop out when there's danger all about? Shaft. Right on. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> right. We should see if we can fish those keys out somehow. Yes, but now... Wait a minute. Hold on. Pen knife, oil can. Who'd be able to... What would be able to help? fishing rod it's the only way because Pete the sleepy drunk git decided to drop the keys to the control panel down the shaft. Can you like not stand there? You're scaring away the fish. All right. See if anything here be able to help. I don't think so, pal. Nope. All right. Okay. See these weird little pamphlet. That would be fun, but no. Okie dokie. One last final thing that I've got that could help. I'm not throwing money away. Clark, any chance we can borrow your fishing rod? Yeah, it's not like you need it anyways. No, no, I need it! For the cover. No, I have a feeling they'll start fighting soon. All the women you're harassing? The fish! I'm just here to fish, damn it. How about you two be useful for a change and go get me some coffee from the diner? I can barely keep my eyes open anymore. Why don't you go and get it? Um, I, I would, but I, um, I, I can't leave this here post for too long. Maybe we can keep an eye while you go get some coffee. Yeah. I mean, no one ever went to jail for getting the cup of coffee. You could be the first. You're just trying to get rid of me so you can steal my rod. No, we would never. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, if we get you some coffee, will you give us your fishing rod? I'll think about it. Okay, now we gotta go get him some coffee. So something I have in my inventory can help. And they walk so slow. It's not even funny. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Betty. Hi, Betty. Any chance we can bother you for a cup of coffee? Um, darling, I already cleaned out the coffee machine. Besides, you're a bit too young for coffee. It's not for her. Who's it for? It's for Clark. Quote, unquote, fisherman out there. My God, he's relentless. You can give him this. Tell him I've made it especially for him. Did you? You didn't poison the... Do I look like a murderer to you? I mean, not right now. Oh my god, I've spiked it with some pepper, Ted. That was easy. Seems like a good idea, but something is missing. Do I have to go in and get mug? I'll take this. It could be useful. Right, okay. Voila, it's complete. There we go. See how Clark likes his uh, fresh cup of joe. Here you go, buddy. Betty said she made it especially for you. Hmm. Smells lovely. Sure does. <coughs> oh dear. Clark, are you okay? No, I'm not. I'm soaked and it's freezing. Throw me something and get me out, you two idiots. Huh. Flattery won't get you anywhere, Clark. I feel so bad about this. I'm sure Sneezy won't mind. He's out of the way. So now, we can go back inside the diner, God bless these fetch quests, and get the keys out so we can go back to the control room. At least we're moving a lot more uh, swiftly than what I did in the first episode. Right, okay, fishing rod, where are you? There we go, fishing rod. Never there did enjoy fishing. Can't reach it by hand. Well, and that's why I got the fishing rod. never did enjoy fishing okay go out you get the fishing rod and everything he's really out cold you say it as if it's a bad thing you know and then can't really use it I prefer my food in liquid form Filled with chilled carroty goodness. My god, do I need a drink. Dirty bar, dirty bar, dirty bar. Loaf of bread. Serves no purpose. Windows.
Who's the cat that won't cop out when there's danger all about? Shaft. Right on. No time for sitting around. Yeah, and there's no time for me to mess around and try and sort this all out. I can see Pete's keys in there. We need something to fish it out. I've got the fishing rod. Never did enjoy fishing. All right. Never did enjoy fishing. Uh, see, this is a problem that I had in the first one. Is that you think that you've got everything that you need, and then it pulls this crap. Right. I'm not throwing money away. Wow, that thing has seen better days. I'm not throwing money away. I'm not throwing money away. That would be fun, but no. Let's head back to where Clark was. I really hope we didn't scratch it. Don't worry about it. I am not going through trash. I thought we established that. Never did enjoy fishing. has to be something. We're going to head back over towards the bridge, going to go back into the control room because maybe there's something I missed there. Specific magnet above the magnets. Right, okay. I'll just take this with me. Right. Let's see if we can do anything with the fishing line. So, we've got the Swiss, arm, Swiss Army knife still. There, we've got a fishing line. Now let's throw this entire fishing rod away. Ta-da! Behold the MCD-3000, the latest craze in fishing out metal things from hard-to-reach places. Still could have used the fishing rod, you still could have... Okay, I'm not gonna ask questions. Just not, but we got something. Alright, back to the diner. They take the slow walk. Well, it is a child and a bear, so I can't really say much, can I? Just nonchalantly walking through the rain. Alrighty then. Where 
is it? That is the MCD3000. Nice, I got the keys. I'm so crafty. No, you're not. Look at Betty just chewing gum there. Just working hard. Pete is out for the count, as we know. So friendly. Now to get back to the control room. Lower that bridge. We're going to assign CBG. I hope you're soaked, Clark. All right, let's give it a shot. Third time's the charm. I mean, I've already pushed a button that we're not supposed to. Oops. There, it's coming down. We did it, Ma. Cool. So now, I guess we can cross the bridge and find CBG in the harbor. Have a nice little quaint soak. All right, so in the harbor now. Let's have a look, sees. I wonder what's inside all of these containers. You don't want to know. Hmm. Fences. Fences indeed. What's that? No seagull sign. CBG really hates the birds, unlike Mr. Birdwatcher over here. And that leads back to the Wow, obsessed much? Is there anywhere where we can go? Wow, obsessed much? Yeah, just a wee bit. Let's head over here, see if anything happens. Stark Industries? Sounds familiar. Doesn't ring a bell. Jarvis. Sir, I'm afraid I don't recognize the logo. <laughs> Love it. Uh, yep, horror fans from the Friday the 13th reference in the first part, and now a Marvel reference. Love it. Alright, okay, but... Am I missing anything? This is not really giving me any kind of indication where I can go. I mean, that heads back to the bridge. No seagulls and everything. I wonder what's inside all of these containers. You don't want to know. I feel like littering for some reason. <laughs> yes, because that is really helping me quite a lot.
We should get back to the Harbor Doll. I need to talk to CBG and see if he knows more about all of this. You're right. Let's go back. Alright, okay. Container terminal. Alright, so back here. Is there. Let's have a look at this. Funny, but ain't gonna work. Right, okay. Funny, but ain't gonna work. That would be fun, but no. Right, okay. I'm not throwing money away. Okay. Seagulls will probably return for bread. Let me do it. Let's head back, see if I can get that loaf of bread. Because at the moment it seems like the loaf of bread seems to be the only option I have. I mean, you never know. Alright. Come on, Dinah, give me some good news. Have a look. I prefer my food in liquid form. That would be fun, but no. Hmm. All right. Sure, I can't pick up the loaf of bread. I prefer my food in liquid form. Apparently not. Okay, we're just going to go back to the containers. Find out what we can do. Find out what we can do there. Has to be something. I mean, it's pretty big. Got no seagull sign. Like, obviously, CBG hates them, so we need to attract them somehow. Thought fish heads may have been the way, but we'll go to the container terminal, see what's what. Right, okay. So. Could just the fish. Skeleton work? Funny, but ain't gonna work. Right, no. Can't combine. So let's try just using the popcorn. And apparently it works. Come. Good old lunchtime meal. Filthy beasts. Ah, that one. That one over there. He's the Michael. I mean, he's the ringleader, Ted. You know? You know what they're doing, don't you? Seagulls. Yeah. Generally, they fly around looking for fish and making annoying sounds, but. No, 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 no. Open your eyes. 
Surveillance, Ted. Surveillance? They're the flying cameras. They monitor the entire city from up there. The seagulls? No, Bear. <laughs> They're just the means. Huh. It's good to see you again, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Good to see you too, Ted. Is that the girl? She's grown. Hi, CBG. Long time no see. It's been too long, kid. Why the hell would you bring her here, Ted? It's not safe for her anymore. What do you mean? The city is not your playground anymore, girl. Not since that monster showed up. You're talking about Red? Shh. Keep your voices down. Especially with all them birds around. What do you know about Red? Here's what I know, Ted. He came down to Paper City a week ago. And now he's burning it down from the inside out. Where did he come from? He just appeared in the city one day. But the trail leads to the woods on Sorrow Hills. And I have a feeling he was invited. Invited? By whom? Think about it, Ted. The elections are coming up. There's a new candidate on the rise. The one that was dabbling in criminal activity since forever now. King. Hmm. The one and only. What makes you think it was King? Have you been to the mill? It's where it all started, Ted. The police did such a sloppy job. You'd think someone was paying them off. The pigs. It's where we're heading next. Where? To the mill, B. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Go there, Ted. Do a little investigation of your own. And why would King do this? He already has an entire city in his grasp. Seems odd he would bring in someone to help him. Especially someone who's obviously unhinged. And hard to control. For his own personal gain, I mean, the casino is still standing. Unburned. Could be just a coincidence. It could. Just that I don't believe in coincidences, girl. How are you holding up, B? We've heard you've been scaring the harbor workers around here lately. No, no, no. They're okay. Hard-working bunch, the salt of the sea and all that jazz. They get scared easily as all. Are you using your deep voice when you're talking to them? No! I got old. Hurts my throat nowadays. CBG, we're looking for Flint. Yeah, he's gone missing, and we fear the Red Man had something to do with it. Or at least, we hope he's hiding here in the city. Flint? You two came to the wrong place to look for him. Paper City is the place where people usually end up to go missing. Okay, so I gather you didn't see him. Did you have the time to look around, Snoop? The city's in chaos! I could have easily missed him even if he were here. Which I doubt. Honestly, can't even remember when was the last time I saw the kid. Millie told me he was missing since last night. Oh yeah, I heard about what happened to Millie. Poor gal. Yeah, that was really sad. But how could you know about this? It happened last night, and me and the doll were the only ones there. News travels fast around here. Especially when you have a guy like Blabbermouth going around taking notes and whatnot. What happened to Millie, it was our fault. It was the Red Man, girl. Even if you two were there, I doubt there was much you could have done. My words, exactly. But still. Anyways, there was no note. Nothing. It's like he vanished. Coincidentally, we found some evidence that Red was at her house at the same time Kid went missing. It's just too big of a coincidence. The two are connected somehow. No such thing as a coincidence, Ted. You should know this by now. Okay, B. I'll bite. Let's say King really brought Red to the Paper City to get leverage on Mills. But what could King possibly offer to someone like this? There seems to be only one thing he's interested in. And you brought her right to King's doorstep. I know Red has been asking around about her. But what I want to know is why. Why? Who really has the power in Paper City? Is it the mayor, that pig, the shark, and his goons? No, Ted. It's her. Amber. The girl. Yes. She made the city, and it seems he came here to tear it down instead. He won't stop until he finds her, and it seems Shark is desperate to arrange this meeting. But it seems to me, Red has his own agenda. This is what happens when you're so dependent on the tool you're using that it ends up using you. If I find out King's behind all of this, he's going down. For good this time. You go home. And stay away from the docks. For the love of God, you live in a mansion. It's where they gather, Ted! The seagulls! Oh yeah, I forgot about the seagulls. Come on, B. It's time to hang it up. I can't retire just yet, Ted. There's too much sadness on these streets. Still, especially now that you're retired. You've heard about that. How could I not? The folks down at your old street held a two-day vigil. It's a damn shame, I tell you. Time waits for no bear, B. I got old. Nonsense! You're as sharp as a thumbtack, Ted. Always were. We have to go now, B. Do what you gotta do, Ted. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I found this at the steel mill the other day. Take it. See if you can analyze it, Ted. 
What is it? It looks like some sort of a voodoo charm. This only proves what I've been telling you about King. Hmm. Seems a bit odd. King would leave something so obvious at the crime scene. I know. But at least take it with you. Maybe it can lead you in the right direction. All right, B. See you around. I hope you're a good golfer. CBG, can I ask you for a favor? What is it? Clark fell into the water near the diner. Can you check on him and make sure he gets out okay? Sure thing, girl. I'll get that idiot out. Okay, so we should go and see about the steel mill first, right? I was thinking maybe we could go and see Tigran Jones about the voodoo charm he found. What? I'm not going to see that witch. That's nonsense. It's not nonsense. It's a lead. If anyone can tell us more about it, it's her. You never listen to my ideas. It's always about you and your stupid clues and... Fine. Okay. Let's just hurry up. Voodoo, I mean really. But after that, we're going to the steel mill. Right, so we're going to go see some Tigran Jones. Tigran's lair. Here we go. Paper City. I always had kind of a love-hate relationship with this place. I have to admit, and hand it to Amber, she really made this city feel the way it's supposed to be. It's gritty, dark, dirty and unforgiving. But most of all, it feels alive. It's almost as if the city itself could be a main character in some forgotten script on the desk of a writer who shot himself before he could write an ending. Everyone here has got a story to tell, and if you lend them your ears for a couple of minutes, you can find out just about everything. And in these dire times, that's the main reason why I decided to return. Well, at least I keep telling myself that. I have to admit, it feels good to be back. It feels right. Paper City makes sense to me. People here, they make sense to me. It was good to see Betty again. I would never say this in front of her, but I miss her sometimes and I messed up. I did. It's good to see she's fine and well. She's always had an admirable joy for life and I'm glad that hasn't changed. CBG, on the other hand, is getting worse by the day. Most of the time, he just raves on about seagulls and other nonsense. It's a shame, but he always had a nose for sniffing out the bad, especially in this rotten place. Our best bet now is to retrace his steps and see if he overlooked anything. My gut tells me we should follow the steel mill lead, but the doll insists we seek out Tigran Jones first. I have little faith in this voodoo nonsense, and I'll play along for now. In any case, the thing I know is we have a long night ahead of us. The doll and I, a long, long night. Ted, it's him. He's here. Ted, Ted. I'm here, doll. What's going on? Did you... did you not see him? Him? The red man. He was just here. Where? Right in front of us. Where did you go? I literally didn't leave your side the whole time. What the hell are you talking about? I... I... don't know, but he was here. I saw him, Ted. Okay, just breathe. There was no one here, doll. This alley is dark and creepy, and it could have been anything, really. No, this was different. It was like that couple of times back at the house, remember? I guess. There were writings on the wall again. What did it say? I couldn't read it. I was really scared out of my mind. Something like, go get him, or something like that. Hmm. What are you thinking? Nothing. It's just, when we were back at the house, I could see it too. But now I couldn't. That is a bit strange. Let's just keep going. This stupid voodoo lead won't follow itself. You're stupid. Are you sure this is it? Doesn't seem like anyone would live here, doll. Of course I'm sure. We just have to find an entrance, I guess. This is so stupid. Why? Because it's my lead and not yours? No because we're walking around dirty back alleys instead of focusing on the important parts of the investigation. What about the voodoo charm CBG gave us? 
Tigrin could know something about it. It could lead us to Flint. It could lead us to our untimely deaths as well. Have you forgotten who it is you're looking for? I can talk to her. Would you relax? That's really ambitious. It's like saying you'll be fine when falling into a volcano when you know how to swim. Stop being so negative all the time and help me find an entrance. Fine. What about that note over there? Or, you know, whatever. Hmm, I think you're on to something, Snoop. Let's check it out. Right, okay. So, got a few things lying around I might be able to check out. Got a note, got a window. Let's have a look. Seems like no one cleans windows in Paper City anymore. But then again, what's the point, really? Okay, what about thing the voodoo skull I am not touching that end of discussion already then that's nothing special wait a minute what's this lumber chalk it's advisable to carry a piece of chalk with you at all times you never know when you need to make some notes all right so we've got Ted lumber. What about lumber why did I not think of that sooner a piece of lumber will crack this case. Brilliant. Oh, you sarky, you know, snappy, witty bear. Can't tell if these are teeth or ribs. Either way, that has no place on a wall. True story. Ritual altar. Ritual note. What's this? What? Does it say, back in 20? No, it's really ambiguous. Wow, that's a big word for a 10-year-old. I read at the 8th grade level, mind you. Okay, so now what? I don't know. I'll take this note with me and we can come back later. Maybe we can find out something more about all of this in the meantime. Sure. Can we go and see about the steel mill now? Okay, fine. Let's do what you want to do, like always. Okay, thank you. Ugh. Looks like a garage door. Probably is one. Mm. What does this say about the altar? It has funny signs on it, Ted. How do you think it works? I don't. Because it doesn't. You never know. So got this voodoo charm. Hmm. Nothing magical happens. Nope. Right, okay. Ted wants to go to the steel mill. That's where we're gonna go. To dr Traveller, drown me in water, touch me with fire, bring me the mountains and the skies above, and for the last of these things that you have to bring is the sign of ill-fated and forever lost love. Only then may you enter into Goddess's lair, only then can you witness her everlasting glare. She can teach you all about the fickleness of life that starts with embrace and ends with a knife. Right, okay. So there's the layer. Steel mill and the mayor's mansion. Let's go to the steel mill, just like Ted wanted. You again? What are you saying? Brian? What? I'm not Brian, I'm Stevie. No, you're not. You're Brian Burke. Miss, my name is Stevie Walker. I know Brian Burke. We work together and we look nothing alike. Are you kidding? You're identical. Is that mustache real? Of course it is. Why? Does Brian have a fake mustache? No, no, he has a real mustache and it's better than yours. <laughs> he wishes. Wait. So, am I supposed to play along and pretend you're not really Mike? Who's Mike? Ugh, he means Brian. I'm not Brian! We're totally different! He's a whiny, flat-faced nerd, and I'm the devil may care dangerous and super handsome type. Just look at my mustache! Look at it! They're kinda sleazy. Are you also the sleazy type? Is there something I can help you with? This here is a crime scene, so, you know, carry on. Can we have a look-see inside? Absolutely not! Doll. I got this. I know how these things go down. So, Sammy. Stevie. Is there something we can get you to make your shift here a bit more comfortable? Are you suggesting a bribe? Cause that might be a federal offense. Might be. 
You're not sure. I am not, actually. I mean, it's a type of offense for sure. Listen, I know how much you guys make. It's not a lot. What do you say? We give you a little something-something, and you let us snoop around for, like, a minute. Hmm, I don't know. Come on, man. I thought we were dealing with the devil-may-care dangerous guy here. <sighs> guess I was wrong. Whoa, whoa, you are. I mean, I am dangerous and handsome. So handsome. I mean, I'm getting dizzy over here, Ted. Doll's getting dizzy over there, Stan. Okay, fine. What do you have? What? Isn't that how these things go down? You have to give me something that's like the definition of a bribe. <sighs> I haven't thought this through, to be honest. Well, we don't have any money. What? You're terrible at this. Away with you both. Come back when you can actually follow up on your offer. Well, we should have a coin. Hmm. Hey, how about a proper old-fashioned bribe? Hmm. I don't know. Right, so the coin didn't work. Voodoo charm. Pamphlet. <laughs> there you go, buddy. You're welcome. The Amazing World of Bubbles. What the hell is this? It's a pamphlet that'll make you a billionaire. It's your ticket out of here. The one chance to make it. Mom's spaghetti and all that. What am I supposed to do with this? Read it cover to cover. Take a seminar or two. Boom. You're in. In where? The big leagues, buddy. The big leagues. Is that a thing? Oh, it is, Stevie. I've seen it. Really? How was it? They... they should have sent a poet. Can you feel it, buddy? Feel what? The warmth. I can feel it. What is it? It's a blanket made of money, keeping you warm on the cold winter nights. A blanket made of... Money. All right, go on in. Nothing in there but rubble and ash anyways. <laughs> Idiot. Once I'm a billionaire, I'll buy the police station and fire that stupid rich. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Stupid rich with his stupid wife and stupid kids. Let's go in. Let that idiot dream. Wow, he's really gullible. That's not a good quality for a police officer. Yeah, and taking a bribe is. Good point. Right, before we go in, let's have a look. Got a pipe. Might need that. I'll just confiscate this, obviously. Of course. Steel mail inside. Ashes and rust. Sounds like Hemingway's book title. It's over here, cog. Handle is missing, though. Could pipe potentially work? Doesn't seem to work. Nope. All right. Got some more debris, debris, broken. Wow, down. someone really did a number on this place. Button. Anything on the table? No. Paper C. No, 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 no. All right, let's go in. Shouldn't we, <clears throat> like, uh... What? You know, establish a perimeter? What does that even mean? Besides, do I look like a cop to you? No, you look like a homeless man. Well, bear. Is it the stubble? It's more your posture and the dusty old suit. That's the color. It's dust noir. A dusty dark, uh, color. It's just dust, Ted. It's falling off of you. Yeah, well, this place is dusty. It's dusting up my... You're dusty. Now, let's get to work, goddammit. I don't feel like standing inside a burned-down factory at night for some reason. Right, okay. Let's have a look, see. What have we got around here? Some debris? Ashes and rust. Sounds like Hemingway's book title. Right, I want to hear that again. So, just not looking at the debris. Got some lights. Lights. Crane. I wonder if the crane still works. That's a Liber original doll. Germans are sure building them to last. We can't reach it from down here. Sure wish we had that magical attic hook with us right now. Oh yeah, 
Whatever happened to that? It served its purpose, I guess. Wouldn't want to make things too easy now. You sure wouldn't, would ya? Okay. So I see a wrench in the debris, but I don't think that can do much. Crane, steel mill outside. Light. You're not gonna climb? Not gonna go up? Alrighty, okay. Bit more creative thoughts. Is there a wrecking ball? Do, 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 do. Let's have a look around. Steel mill outside, the crane. Any particular items that can work? Doesn't seem to work. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if the crane still works. That's a Liber original doll. Germans are sure building them to last. Then maybe the oil can. That would be fun, but no. Right, okay, no. Um fuck it, need to find a way to get to it. Is there a way to climb up? Maybe. No, you're just walking in line with the X. Light, got the crane, got debris. Ashes and rust. Sounds like. Yeah, we get it. Steel mill outside, nothing else around here. Got the crane, got the bucket. Looks like it survived the fire. Wonder what's inside. Well, if you could kindly climb up the brick rubble pillar thing, that would be great. But apparently, can't climb it. Hmm. Alright, okay, I'm gonna have to do some creative thinking. Why wasn't it picking up the wrench before? But, yeah, okay, let's grab that. Should help. I'll just take this adjustable wrench with me. Adjustable. That's what I said. Now, let's see. The wrench will work on the crane. Maybe something less destructive? Why is it on the red cloth? Don't want it on the red cloth. Alright, okay. There! We got our wrench pipe. It's a mighty tool. Nah. Nah. Right, okay. So we've got the other thing. Do I have to set to outside the steel mill? See if this wrench crank thing will work on cogs. There we go. Good as new. Seems like it's stuck. We should oil it up. Aha! That's so where the oil can will finally come in handy. There. Good as new. Great job, Snoop. You seem surprised. I knew you could handle it. <laughs> Get it? 
You are so not funny, Missy Bookshop. Alright, let's go check out that bucket. Is inside you bucket. West Park casino matches. B was right. This is a solid lead, doll. So you think King's behind all of this? Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. What do you think we should do? Let's talk to Mills about this. I want to see how he'll react when he finds out his buddy might be behind this. So does that mean we need to go to the mansion? You okay there, buddy? No, don't. No, don't. Clark, where are you? Don't make me kill CBG. Clark? It's locked from the other side. I always hated that line. Time it is. Who's there? It's Ted, as in Ted and Amber. We need to talk to Mills. It's urgent. Can't it wait until morning? It could, but it won't. We found some evidence that might aid in the investigation of the steel mill arson. Oh my. All right. Better come in, you two. Nice and quick, nice and swift. The fountain is a bit much, though. I'm no, kind of not. digging it. Yeah, right on, man. Wow, the mayor really spared no expense. Yeah, he spent the taxpayer's expense. As they all do. The moon is so beautiful tonight. Keep on seeing it. Keep some bloody. There you are. All right. Here we are in the mansion, Mr. Herbert. Let's talk. Hey there, Tin Man. How's Cowardly Lion, the Scarecrow, and the rest of the gang? I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid I don't follow the yellow brick road. Will you cut it out? Hi there, sorry for barging in so late, but we have some important information about the steel mill fire. Master Mills is in his office, burning the midnight oil. Who should I say is here? Well, we represent the Lollipop Guild. Oh my god, stop it, Ted. No one even remembers that movie anymore. That's a shame. It's a good movie. My girl Judy slayed in that one. Yeah. It is a good movie. And the twist at the end, when it turns out it was all a dream. That's good writing, you know. I'm sorry. Um, pardon me. I must announce someone. Just say it's Miss Ashworth and her dim-witted donkey, Lloyd. I... Hush, Lloyd. Amber's talking to the nice man now. As you wish, madam. Sir, Miss Ashworth's here to see you. And her donkey, Lloyd. Say it. Say Lloyd's here, too. And... <sighs> her Dimwitted donkey Lloyd. Wow, that was really immature. Well, I am ten. Can we move this along? What's the holdup? Master Mills is expecting you in his office. Hmm. Are we supposed to know where his office is, or...? My apologies, Mr. Lloyd. It's up the stairs to your right. Watch your step. Sure, and hey, don't worry, buddy. One day soon, you'll get your heart. I beg your pardon, sir. Just ignore him. First, let's have a quick investigation of the area. Beautiful, and not even plastic. I prefer the plastic ones, to be honest. Yeah, me too. Easier to keep. Well, after the ones that you killed at the beginning of the last one. This nice art deco piece really ties the room together. 
slick and elegant sculptures by Pigelangelo. Pigelangelo. That's funny. A pigrigé vase, the most luxurious of home decors. Not really much else to investigate down here. Doesn't look like there's anything worth grabbing or looking at. So let's go to the mayor's office. Hi, Daniel. Long time no see. How have you been, you old so-and-so? Well, if it isn't my favorite detective duo. How are you guys? Can't complain. I mean, I could, but who'd listen? Am I right? <laughs> yeah, we got old Bear. We sure did. Ah, uh, if I could go back now and life was simpler. Enjoy your youth while you can, girlie. One day soon, you'll wake up and you'll need two butlers just to get out of bed. Yeah, and my butlers are always giving me the lip. Plus, I think they're stealing my silverware. Ah, indeed. Good help is hard to find these days. You mean with all the fires and whatnot? Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. You heard about that. These are terrible times, Bear. It's a shame you've retired. We sure could use your level of expertise. So I've been told. Well, I'm here now. And so you are. How on earth did you guys enter the city? I mean, with a lockdown already in full effect. We used the East Tunnel's maintenance shaft, but the thing collapsed behind us. It's closed off completely now. Maintenance shaft? That's clever. Well, I wouldn't expect anything less from you two. Eh, whatever the case, I'm glad you're here, Ted. I'm sure you two already heard about the Red Man. We did. He's the reason we're here. I came to stop him. It'll take a lot to stop him, Ted. I've heard what happened to Millie. Such a shame. Poor gal. How did you hear about that? It happened last night. The news travels fast around here, Ted. You know that. Well, that red freak is going to pay for what he's done. I'm going to make sure of that. He's a maniac, Ted. And I fear he's after me, personally. You? What makes you think that? My meal, Ted. It was one of the first things to go down since he appeared. It was a clear message. Now, whenever I look out that window, I see rubble, Ted. We had a chance to snoop around the mill for a while. How sure are you that Red did this? What do you mean? Who else- Is this a statue of you? Ah, uh, well, yes. Federico Champon himself made it for me when I was elected the mayor. Just, uh, be careful, girl. What do you mean, Ted? Who else would have done it? Ever since that monster showed up, there have been new fires every day. He'll burn her to the ground, Ted. Our beautiful city. Not the description I would use, but sure. What evidence? I found some things the police apparently overlooked. Both lead to the infamous casino owner. King? I, I don't believe it. King and I... Yeah, your buddies. No need to hide from me, Daniel. I'm here to help you. I wouldn't call us buddies. We socialize. What evidence do you have of this? We found the matches used to start the fire. They belong to the Westpaw Club and Casino. Dad, these are serious allegations. If I'm to move against King, I have to have some hard-pressed facts. Wow, this is a big key. Is it for some huge house? That's, um... That, that's the key to the city, girl. Actually, Ted here was one of the few to receive it. He didn't show up to the ceremony? No, he did, but he was, well, sleepy that day. He was drunk, wasn't he? Can we move this along? We have a long night in front of us. We'll stop by King's Casino tonight. If I can get into his lounge, I'll go and ask him some questions. Where is your key, Ted? I gave it away to Charity. Doll, please, let us talk. Ted, be smart about this. You think King will just play along? I don't care anymore, Daniel. I'm here to finish this. If that means I have to dive headfirst in the shark tank, then so be it. King was left to his own devices for too long, and now he's brought this disaster to our city. It's time to put an end to his reign. God damn it, son. You're right. Is there anything I can do to help? You can get us into the casino for starters. We'll take it from there. I'll snoop around and see if I can find some evidence that'll help our case. What I'm saying is I found some things at the mill that would suggest someone wanted to make it look like Red did it to cover his tracks. Whoa, 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 wait. You think King was the one that brought Red to Paper City? I don't know yet. It's what I suspect. Uh, could this have something to do with the elections? Well, 
that's a motive if I ever saw one. All right, Ted. You're in luck, actually. I'm really not. No? I mean, there's a gala at the casino tonight. Some fundraiser king's throwing. For underprivileged rich snobs? I don't know. I want to say owls. Doesn't matter. All right, we'll go and try to get in. Ted, if you do manage to get in, don't let King get the upper hand. He won't hesitate. <gasps> to kill us? Oh my god! I'm sorry, I'm getting kind of tired. Anyways, we have to go now, Daniel. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Sure thing, Ted. Just watch your back out there. Huh. Thanks. Will do. Bye, Mr. Mills. It's me. They're on the way. Ted, wait. We need to go back. We didn't ask him about Flint. Stay. I didn't ask him anything, because I don't really trust him. He was acting a bit strange tonight. It could have something to do with the Red Man, like he said. But something feels off. Like what? I don't know yet, but I intend to find out. Let's just head to the casino for now. We'll deal with Mills later. Okay. Well, isn't the mayor just a bit of a dodgy little douche? Right. Right, so there's the mansion. Should be able to get into Flint. Well, we've still got Tiger and Slayer, the Paper City Hotel, but we need to go to the casino. So, to the casino! As I suspected, seeking out Tigran was a waste of time. We came to a dead end, literally and figuratively. It got the doll mad. I admire Amber. She'll be a fine detective herself one day, but sometimes she tends to rely on speculations too much. I understand why she feels this way though, seeing as we're still miles away from finding her brother. CBG's tip about the steel mill, however, proved right on the nose. Although we found some evidence, surprisingly overlooked by the ever-competent PCPD, I can't shake the feeling they were set up a little too conveniently. Westpaw Casino matches and a voodoo trinket which suggest involvement of the infamous Reef King. <laughs> the king is as smart as he is ruthless. And it seems to me, leaving all that obvious clues around doesn't really fit the M.O. of a man who eluded the hands of justice for most of his life. Something was fishy about all of this, but it wasn't the shark. This whole red situation seems like a perfect opportunity for someone to hide their tracks. Someone with highly political ambitions. Daniel Mills is a politician through and through. No doubt about it. I've known Daniel for a long time, but knife to my throat, I couldn't tell you three things about him that you couldn't read in any newspaper. That's why I could never trust him, and I don't trust him now. If the pig and the shark think they can turn Paper City into their own political battleground at the cost of people's lives, I'll take them both down. And what I... are you doing? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Why are you sitting in the sound booth alone? Were you doing your diary thing again? It's not a diary. I needed some time to think. Can you close the door? Fine, can you hurry up? We have a case to solve. You can record your little diary later. Will you just... God damn it! I lost my train of thought. Might as well just wrap it up. Relax, jeez. Take your time, Anne Frank. <sighs> she ruined it. Can you cut that out in post? Sure thing, buddy. I'll definitely remember to do that. Anyways, all the clues seem to lead to the Westpaw Casino, so I'll play ball for now. Let's just see how all of this plays out, and eventually how deep fried this surf and turf dish really is. Hopefully, come dawn, we'll be one step closer to finding Flint than we are now. Right, where's poor casino? Let's have a butcher's, let's have a look around. Wow, they really bring in all sorts of classy acts to perform. Yeah, it's almost as if the owner is going out of his way just to make it seem like he has class. I love torches. Should we get it? Sure, there's nothing like a proper fire hazard in your pockets. 
<laughs> the West Paw Casino. Shiny and inviting. Alright, okay. Up over by... No, nothing there. Poster. Susie Stitches. Wow, they really bring in... Yeah. Alright, okay, yep. Yeah. Zack Zebra. Who's that, Ted? Zebra Zack. He's so hot right now. Who's that, Ted? Professor Penguin. Good man. Comes off as cold and distant, though. I wonder why. Ted, who's that? It's Ben the Bunny. He's a cousin. I didn't know you had a cousin, Ben. He's not my cousin. Where is he? I don't see a Benny Ben. Who's that, Ted? Edward the Elephant. He runs the Paper City Bank. Marty. Entrance. The Tim. Who's that, Ted? Edward. Ooh, wrong one. Who's that, Ted? That's Leia. She's a designer from Beaverly Hills. All right, okay. Talk to the Tim. So, you care? Company policy. So you don't care for me? I don't know you. Fair enough. I'm Teddy Bear. I'm a private snoop and such. Anyways, can you let us in? It's an invitation only event, sir. Did you just mispronounce the word, sir? Maybe. I'm not a linguist. Okay. So, what do we need to enter? In order for the player to continue, he can speak to the shark goon once. After he doesn't let them in, they can go around back to the alley behind the casino. There are several boxes in the alley. What are you saying, man? Uh, I'm sorry. I get lost in my own um... Thoughts? Yeah, I was going to say line, but yeah. But you have to let us in in order to advance the plot. Fourth wall jokes don't work on me, guys. Move along. They are kind of hit and miss. Okay, fine. We'll be back. Bye, Mr. Henchman. So long, Mr. Amber. Miss Bayer. We should talk to the monkey first. No getting around him. Literally. Hey, you two, uh, any luck with, um, whatever it is you're doing? We're trying to sneak into the casino. Um, well, maybe you can pretend you're the musical equipment for the stage, so the guys will carry you in. That's, wait, that's actually a solid plan. Thanks, big guy. Don't mention it. No, really, don't mention it. Mr. King will have my head. So, where would that need to be? Let's try the back alley. Stage equipment. Ooh, the stage equipment. Marked boxes. Trash, which she won't go in. I feel like I still need to do something. Probably do. These ones are marked 13 and 14, respectively. Looks like instruments and lights and all sorts of stage stuff. These ones are marked club entrance. This is confusing. Right. Is it the entrance to the club or is the club called entrance? Knock, knock. Who's there? To. To who? To whom? Oh. <laughs> what a dumb joke. You're dumb. Let us in, dumb dumb. What's the password? Password. What is this, a Bond movie? You need a password to enter the club from here, or you can go to the main entrance like a normal person. Up to you, buddy. And miss. Okay, fine. Is it... Blueberries? I like those, but that's not the password. Well, why not? Who's to say we can't make it our own password? Uh, I, I guess we could, like some kind of special club. Yeah, exactly, and it'll only be the three of us. Yeah, we'll build a treehouse and you can be a door there, too. That sounds like fun. Yeah, sure. Can you let us in, special friend? Sure, if you know the password. Forget it. Okay, so now what? Up to you, really. I wasn't asking you. Uh, sorry, it's hard to tell because of the door and all. I don't know, maybe we can scam our way in. I don't think we can falsify the clearance for this one, doll. Okay, so let's get creative. Let's look around here. Maybe we can sneak inside somehow. You know I can still hear you. Well, I'd never. 
Why don't you mind your own business, pal? Um, that is kind of my business. He's got a point. Trick or treat. I'm not falling for that one again. Again? Yeah, I opened the door to give you candy and you hit me over the head with a shovel. Huh, that's a good one. Should have thought of that. <laughs> Alright, okay. Marked boxes. I'm missing anything. I feel like I still need to do something. Is that anywhere? Around the main entrance, around the other side, maybe. Hmm. Hmm. And here, the back alley. That lead back towards Paper City. So let's try the back alley again. Looks like instruments and lights and all sorts of stage stuff. I don't want to burn that. Okay. Let's just have a look. Ooh, the rider. It reads only numbered boxes to be carried to stage. Hmm. Got an idea. I might. I'm not sure yet. I think the chalk might... Hmm. Nothing magical happens. That was an accident. I have a feeling the chalk might come in handy here. There. Nobody will notice the difference. I feel like I still need to do something. These ones are marked 13 and 14, respectively. All right. I don't want to burn that. Right, okay, so I can't burn it. Skeleton, maybe? Funny, but ain't gonna work. Alright. Someone might get hurt that way. Okay. Um, 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 um. Ready for delivery. Perfect crime. I feel like I still need to do something. Hmm. Right. Let's have a look at the rider again. See what is. See if I can get anything else out of it. It reads only numbered boxes to be carried to stage. Hmm. Got an idea. I might. I'm not sure yet. Amazingly, just trash. Oh, well, you never know, there could be something in it. Right, on a random pop shot, because we didn't really do much exploring at the mayor's office. We're here, West Port Casino. Let's go back to the mayor's mansion. Alright, let's go to the mansion. Let's go in. Let's investigate. Now see this cabinet stickers. Is this what I need? 
Are we political activists now? Don't be silly. I just like stickers. Oh, I'm sure you do. See if the stickers come in handy back at the casino. Right. Into the back alley. Stickers. The perfect camouflage. Right, can we get in the boxes now? After you, there. I mean, really, climbing into trash. Wait, are these the boxes we're supposed to bring in? Yeah, they have numbers on them, don't they? Seems a bit strange, though. They look like trash. Know what's trash? Your attitude, Steven. Your mom didn't think so. Oh, real but sure. No wonder your dad left. Come on, man. I was like nine. Oh, wow. That was uncalled for. What the? Be quiet. Hey, did you hear that? What? Dude! It sounded like a bright ten-year-old girl and an alcoholic teddy bear. Your imagination, man. I swear. Let's go. I have band practice later. Right, okay, we're in the casino. Let's have a look. Table decor. They really don't serve their purpose here. Really don't. Right. Seems adequate for Paper City. Just be careful it doesn't hit your eye. You mean like a big pizza pie? That's amore. That's amore. This stage is literally impossible. Okay. This stage. Seems like there's going to be a show tonight. Oh, cool. Can we stay for a show? Can we? Mm. Oh, that's right. Famous artists who performed here. Right, has to be something. Is there a way out of this room? Search the main floor. Let's go. Alrighty then, here we are on the main floor. I can barely tell the sisters apart. That's Fiora, I think. Theo, he's a scientist. Wally works at the docks. I guess it's his night off. His sign. Let's just take this. It looks delicious. Sure does. Doris got to say. Speak to me, Doris. Hello, Doris. Oh my, Amber Ashworth, as I live and breathe. Yeah, it's the good old me. Are you a special guest tonight? Um, sure, why not? She's special, all right. Oh, and who's that? Really? You know who she is, but not who I am. Oh, I know. You're the famous detective Ned E. Bear. Yep, that's old Ned. It's Ted. Bless you, dear. Miss Ashworth, how can I help you? We came to see Mr. King. I'm afraid Mr. King is in his quarters. Doing something totally legal, I bet. Ah, ever since Miss Jones left us, he's been more and more secluded. Poor dear, such a shame. Tigran? Well, yes, yeah, such a wonderful woman, Miss Jones. Kind, beautiful, and wise. So wise. Just like you, miss. Wise. Her. 
Are you sure you know who you're talking to? Hush, Ned. The ladies are talking. Oh, for the love of... So Tigran and King are divorced? Do tell. I'm afraid so, miss. Such a shame. We went to see her earlier today, but we couldn't find her. I guess she wasn't home. Oh, you're looking for Miss Jones? Could you... could you give this to her? She left in a hurry and must have left it behind. It was a very special gift from Mr. King. What is it? It's a heart-shaped locket Mr. King got her for her birthday. It has pictures inside. I just thought she liked to have it. Sure, we'll take it with us. Thank you, dear. You're just so lovely. Okay, she's lovely and wise and all that. Old lady, how do we get to King? I'm afraid you'll have to talk to his guard over there by the elevator. Poor Grotty, he must be so tired. And I bet he's hungry. Could you two get him something to eat if you find the time? Maybe he'll let you see Mr. King if you're nice to him. Sure, I'll cook him something nice. As if I don't have anything better to do. Just be sure you don't use any nuts. They make him very sleepy. That's... that's really specific. All right, we have to go, doll. Yeah, it was nice talking to you, Doris. Oh, my sisters are not gonna believe when I tell them I talk to the famous Amber Ashworth. Okay, nuts. Kraken. Release the Kraken! Or, you know, rather, don't. All right, where's this lead? Elevator lobby. Is this the lobby? Let's go to the lobby. Do I look like I practice healthy habits? You should. I remember the night King got that hand. I have to hand it to that bastard. He's a really good card player. That appears to be the eleva eleva elevator button. Can we take a break? 30 minutes, tops. Nope. Come on, Gramps. We'll rest later. Boo. Hello, Mr. Sir. Can we just scooch past you real quick? This is a restricted area, sir and or madam. Please return to the main floor in an orderly fashion and enjoy the variety of our games. In West Ball Casino, everyone is a winner. I'm sure you meant winner. I'm sure you're right. pass. These are not the droids I'm looking for. And, wait, that's not what I said. It wasn't? What the? You're even too stupid to hypnotize. Dear God, man, you have to let us pass the president's life. Man. Ted, just give up. Yeah, you're right. Never mind. I'm glad I could help. I'm Special Agent Mulder, and this is Special Agent Scully. We're investigating a strange occurrence around here, with them aliens and whatnot. We need to go upstairs to check for... aliens. Sir, I mean, I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but that was really stupid. I... I can't believe... You have to, Dana. The truth is out there. All right, the shift's here, buddy. You have a good one. It's always us that gets the late ones, huh, doll? I know, and I'm a mess. And the coffee here is just below any reasonable standard. How do they expect us to work under these conditions? Uh, I'm having a hard time believing you two are bouncers here. How come? Well, you're just so tiny, and she's a girl. Hey, so a girl can't be a bouncer? To be honest, it would be the first one I've ever seen. Well, if you must know, I have a golden belt in karate. That's not even a thing. Girl can't be a bouncer. I could kick your... <clears throat> what? Uh, nothing. Forget it. Please let us pass, Mr. Bouncer, sir. Pretty please. For the love of have some dignity. Is that a vomit stain on your shoe? It's a weight, is it? Okay, none of these worked. So, we have it anyway. You shouldn't play with food. Okay. That living mountain is blocking the elevator. That he is, and I need to find nuts. Let's go 
back to the main floor. Someone has to have something. So I've got the banana. And it's not something I'm looking for. Crooked room, maybe? Anywhere I can go around here. No, because that leads back to the lobby. So yeah, let's go to the crooked room. a few of these and let's go back Just make a mess. You shouldn't play with food. Hmm. Funny, but ain't gonna work. Right, okay. I've got nuts. I've got a banana. specific I need to do. Someone might get hurt that way. Right, gonna have to have a think about this. Just bear with me. Badoom tsh. I honestly I feel like I'm missing something on the main floor. Where is it? There we are. to be more than I can look at. Should we take a spin, Ted? When in Rome and all that? Well, I'm not much of a gambler, but I guess one spin won't hurt. Hmm. fortune. Hmm. Who's that? Fernando is one of the high rollers. Thanks to that inheritance. Mr. Wolf usually keeps to himself. He solves problems. Sebastian? He's a workaholic. He sure looks busy. I can barely tell the sisters apart. That's Fiona, I think. Percival works in investments. Seems like he's doing a fine job. Wow, pretty. Look at the pretty fish, Ted. take the chip back to um, to Grod. Let's give that a try. Shouldn't we turn it in for a prize? Be good. Doris, my love, apple of my eye.
So, we won this token thing. Can we exchange it for some cash? Oh, no, that's our From Stroller to High Roller token. It's only good for our Ice of Spades ice cream. It's for the kids. Wait, you let kids gamble here? Oh, no, that's just one machine, so they don't bother their parents. We also have balloon animals. That's terrible. You're basically teaching kids how to gamble. You know what? I will speak to Mr. King about it. It really sounds a bit shady. You think? So anyway, you want your ice cream? Um, yeah. Chocolate or vanilla? Vanilla. Chocolate. <laughs> oh dear, how about I just give you both? But don't tell anyone, okay? I would take one between the eyes before I'd rat you out, Doris. Oh my, okay then, I guess. Did she give us the ice cream? She did. Excellent. All right, okay. Back to the lobby. Give him the ice cream. I'm sure that we can find a better combination of flavors. Right, okay. So. Nuts. It'll just make a mess. Oh, for crying out loud. Banana? You shouldn't play with food. Fish head? <laughs> Funny, but ain't gonna work. Right, okay. Nuts for the It'll bottom. just make a mess. Alright. Swiss Army knife. On the there. Now it's peeled. Almost perfect. It just needs the final touch. And I need to eat this, like right now. It's not for you. Besides, you're allergic, remember? Can I just have a little, please? You can take me to the Paper City General later. Absolutely not. Cool. Hey, guy. You look like you could use a break. You hungry? Oh, is that a banana split? Sure is. Can I? Can I have some? You can have all of it. Enjoy. Thank you so much, guys. I love it. It's so delicious. It tastes like a tree. Then, yes, sir, right away. Well, that just happened. Let's go upstairs before he wakes up. Indeed, let's. Let's go and talk to King. Well, well, well. If it isn't the dynamic duo. King. How's the cover-up? I mean, the casino business. Hi, Mr. King. I love the new lounge. It's darker and much more sinister than the last one. Courtesy of my interior decorator, Elsie DeWolf. Extremely talented woman. I'm a bit surprised to see you two here. Yeah, how come? I figured someone like you would be smart enough not to bring the girl into the city. With all the recent accidents. Accidents. <laughs> I just realized you two could have a deep, gravelly voice showdown. Like, who wore it better? Let me ask you something. How did you two enter the city? Seems to me you would need a clearance for that. Who says we didn't have it? <laughs> and who exactly signed that clearance, if you don't mind me asking? We mind. <sighs> Fair enough. You two didn't happen to come across two little bunnies on your amazing adventures, did you? Nope, haven't seen them. Do they work for you now? Mm, in a way. By your disposition, it seems like they're doing a lousy job. Come on, Bear. You know your little tricks won't work on me. 
it was worth a shot. I would be more careful with the phrasing if I was you. And what was it that the mugshots were supposed to do for you, Ken? <sighs> Don't you worry about that. How did you two enter my casino? We asked nicely. You always were a bit of a wise guy, Bear. Speaking of that, you say you're surprised to see us here, but I'm not really buying it. It's almost as if someone tipped you off. Have you forgotten this is my city, Bear? I know everything that's going on. And yet you don't know how we entered your casino. Besides, your city, your level of arrogance is unbelievable, speaking like that in front of her. I have as much respect and admiration for the girl as anyone. But don't tell me you haven't thought about what'll happen in a few years, Bear. The girl, she can only give us so much before she grows up and forgets this place. Paper City needs a strong leader, a representative, if you will. I can take care of the city in her absence. Take care of the city in her absence? You mean the way you took care of the steel mill? What are you talking about, Bear? I had nothing to do with that. Mills is a friend of mine. You want Mills out of the picture so you can win elections next year. And you thought this would be the perfect opportunity to pin it on the Red Man. What's gonna happen when your buddy finds out you're trying to cross him? We found your matches at the crime scene together with this voodoo thing. <laughs> Girl, you honestly think I'd be stupid enough to leave all that at the crime scene? Why would I even bother to go there myself? I could just send one of my boys here. Every word that comes out of your mouth is a lie, King. You're a criminal, and you will never be anything more than a criminal, no matter how many fancy suits you own. You brought that red freak to our city, and... Ted, stop it! <laughs> you think I brought that monster to Paper City? You think I'm responsible for all this mess? I'm just a desperate man trying to make sense of all this. Same as you, Bear. We're nothing alike, King. <laughs> you got that right, Bear. I wouldn't let that red-headed freak get his hands on poor old Millie like you did. Don't you dare. Okay, stop it, you two. Mr. King, we're looking for Flint. We thought he might be here in Paper City. The red man knows where your brother is, girl. He told me so. I can introduce you to him. Red knows where Flint is? Don't you fall for his tricks, doll. He'll say anything just to keep you here. Is this money-making fortress you've built for yourself so important that you've gone and made a deal with the devil? You've made the deal with Red? How could you do that? Look at what he's doing to Paper City. You really are a bad man, King. And a coward, it seems. Look at the mighty Reef King, trembling because of one man. <sighs> I had enough of this, since our entertainment for tonight came down with a bad case of sore throat. The girl can take her place on the stage. You, on the other hand, I think you can go off in the basement for a while. You could use some time to think things through. You can't keep us here. I need to go and look for Flint. He could be in danger. <laughs> As if you have a choice. Take them away. I don't think so, King. Ted, don't do this! <laughs> Is this supposed to be a threat, Bear? Have your goons take just one step and find out. Ted, please put the gun away. We can talk this through. <sighs> Listen to the girl, Ted. She's only struck me as a smarter of you two. You and me both, buddy. But it's not her holding the gun. Let me explain what will happen next, Bear. My boys will take you down to the basement, and then they'll take the girl to the rehearsal. But don't worry. It's cozy down there. I'm sure you're used to worse dumps than that. The girl, on the other hand, She's already a star, and we can make this her swan song. One last performance before she... leaves. I'm not leaving. Why are you saying that? He's working with the Red Man, doll. As soon as he separates us, he'll call for him to come and get you. But don't worry, I won't let this happen. King, I swear I will pull the trigger. Tell your men to stay put. Ted, please don't.
What the hell? How did... I was aiming at you. What's going on here? Oh no, Ted. What did you do? You have nothing to threaten me with, Bear. Now, if you don't mind, it's time to fade to black. It's locked. I mean, of course it is. It's a hot water boiler. It generates the heat for this whole building. Alrighty then. So that does nothing, so what I'm gonna do in here is an event two vents. Nothing in my inventory. There are a lot of boxes around Paper City, that's for sure. I bet that snake fellow would feel right at home here. Hmm. The locker. The locker is locked. Go figure. Right, okie dokie. Is there in here? It's locked. I mean, of course it is. Hmm. It's a hot water boiler. It generates the heat for this whole building. Well, if aha. And do what? Hmm. Now, I'm not a plumber, but that looks like some sort of excess steam vent. Hmm. I'll take the dirty, dusty rag with me, just in case. Let's see what happens. Get ready, Ted. This might end tragically. Okay, other Ted. You think you can lock up Teddy Bear? Well, think again, buddy. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay. Hey, have you made all this mess? No, it was the other guy. What other guy? The one they've locked up in here before me. Derek. Hmm, I could check that if only they've installed some cameras in here. Isn't it a bit counterintuitive not to have cameras in here? Sure. Anyways, you have access to records, right? Can you find something for me? I could, but you're not authorized to access my logs. I'm authorized. I'm the new supervisor, John Collins. Nice to meet you. What happened to Carl? He, um, you know, died. Holy microchip. Not the young age of 35. Yeah, he was trying to save this puppy from drowning. And he just exploded. The puppy? Sure, the puppy too. Anyways, I need to access some logs. Such a tragedy. His wife must be devastated. No, she's fine. She ran off with her lover. I knew she was cheating on him. It was so obvious. Yeah, and with his twin brother. Enrique? But I thought he was dead. No, he was just hiding. And he had amnesia from the crash. He was living as a farmer for some time, but then at some point a horse kicked him in the head and he remembered everything. Wow. So what'll happen now? I don't know. We'll have to tune in next week. Wait, what are we talking about? Exactly. I'm authorized. I'm the new Idiot Log Machine Inspector. I work over at the Idiot Log Machine Inspection Company. And Sons. Wow, that was really rude. Do you just go around insulting people? Is this something you do? More or less. I mean, I guess I could just beat you up. I do that, too. I'm authorized. I'm the new owner. King sold the joint and went into investment banking. Robbing people this way just wasn't quick enough, I guess. No, you're not. 
You just broke out of a locked storage room. Boiler room. And no, I didn't. It was the other guy. Derek. Yeah. Or Daryl. You know. What am I? Namer of people. And where is Derek now? He, um, spontaneously combusted. Look, are you going to help me or not? What do you think? Where's the guy who works here? Bill? Well, he went upstairs to, and I quote, mingle and get wrecked. Well, that's irresponsible. My thoughts exactly. Aren't you bored? I am, as of recent. Want to play a game? Does that game include finding something for you in my logs? Um, okay. How about another game? I'm all ears. Well, microphones. How about a game of trivia? I ask you seven questions, and you have to answer. You can get seven points max. Don't know the answer? You don't get a point. It's as easy as that. Then you can ask me seven questions. All right? Yeah, sure, whatever. Shall we begin? Sure. Ladies first. In the previous room, where you recently escaped from... Allegedly. Escaped from allegedly? How many wooden crates are in that room? Five. Uh, I'm sorry, but the answer we're looking for is one! There is but one wooden crate in that room. In a previous conversation Ted had with the beautiful and talented actress Betty, he mentioned she shot and barely missed him grazing which ear. Wait, how do you know that? Tick-tock, Mr. Bear, time is ticking. Left. Astonishingly, that is correct. Good job, Mr. Bear. All right, how many numbers are there on a wheel of the American roulette? Thirty-eight. Right you are, Missy! Good job! What is the name of your informant and an old drinking buddy residing at the docks caught in a never-ending battle with the harbor seagulls? CBG. Amazing! Ted scores another one! What is 1,680 divided by 12? One forty. Bear against the machine. Bear scores a point! Who is our current president? Oh, I should have seen that one coming. Howard. We keep pitching them, but the bear is just knocking them out of the park. Good job! Final question, Mr. Bear. Are you ready? Like a fox. If your uncle's sister is not your aunt, what relation is she to you? Your mom. Ding, 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 ding! Give that bear a cigar right again! Why couldn't I shoot King? This is way too easy, Bear. King can't be harmed as long as the life-binding spell is still on him. What life-binding spell? The one Mama Tigran put on him! Duh! Let's start with a warm-up one. What's that door over there on the floor? Ha! You'll have to step up your game a bit, Bear. That's a secret shaft that leads outside. A bit of a security risk now that I think about it. Was Mayor Mills here at the casino recently? Talk about easy question. Mayor was here on several occasions just last month. He was meeting with the king in his lounge. Oh, no. You got it right. You're so good at this. Ha! You're an over your head, Bear. Last time Mayor was here, what were they talking about? Him and King. Does this answer your question? I can't come here anymore. Not until the elections, at least. <sighs> if everything goes according to plan, Daniel, you won't have to. And you entrusted something as important to a couple of small-time thugs? <sighs> I don't trust anyone. You should know this by now. They owe quite a debt to me, those little... Bunnies. They have no choice. So the girl will stay out of Paper City. I'll close the borders and the boys will stall her until... As soon as everything is set up, my men will take our friend to the exit. This thing we're doing, King, it, it's, it's not right. Mm, it's for the good of the city, Daniel. We're doing this for all of us. I care for the girl as well. But there is no other way. This 
All of this has to stop once and for all. God help her. And may the devil have mercy on our souls. Wait, what? Does this mean what I think it means? Exactly. I know everything, Bear. You're going to lose no matter... No, you stupid idiot. Both Mills and the King are working together with Red. They're setting us up. Mills sent us here so King can lock us up until Red comes for Amber, that two-timey backstabbing son of a hog. I have to get out of here. I have to get to her before it's too late. Tigrin, she's my best bet now. How do I open that secret door? There's a key in one of the lockers in the boiler room. You know, the one where you didn't escape from? But, Bill has the key, so good luck getting that. All right, I have to go. Ted, are you going to come back? Maybe. I don't know. Why? It's just, I've had a lot of fun today, and usually I'm all alone in here, so I thought... Look, as soon as all of this is over, I'll come back and we can play checkers or whatever, all right? Maybe we can finish the trivia game. Yeah, sure. That would be amazing. All right, be safe out there, friend. You too, buddy. I mean, in here. Be safe in here, in what is basically a fort. You know what I mean. Just be safe. So a lot of shady shit going down. Let's get the let's get the hell out of here. But first, quick investigation. It's an empty mug, buddy. Not everything is a clue. It's an empty mug, buddy. Not everything is a clue. I don't have a security card. Alright, where is it? Inventory box. I'll just take my junk back. Alright, got my stuff. Bearception. Hmm. Alright, okay. Ashtray, lair. Special this side up company. That's just confusing. Am I. am I dreaming? Bearception. Right, okay. Can't. There we go, little buddy. I'll take care of you from now on. Alrighty then. What the? It's some time-wasting puzzle game. Oh, I would kill for a smoke right now. What's the letter say? Fire here. I am not fond of invading other people's privacy, unless someone pays me to do it. Book? A book titled, How to Solve a Rubik's Cube. I think I'll wait for a movie. Okay. I don't have a security card. Right, okay. Right. It's too delicate. Hmm. Let's head into the boiler room. It's too delicate. Got that right. Boy, that really exploded. Totally did, Bear. And do what? Hmm. No, I'm not a plumber, but that looks like some sort of excess steam vent. Has to be... something. Right, okay. What if Swiss Army knife? There we go. Nothing to it. Right, 
Awesome. Let's go back to the control room. And... So I've got a handle thingy. What's... Alright, wait a minute. Secret door. I didn't see this before. I need some sort of lever or a handle. Maybe this will help. Excellent. Okay, nothing around here. Maybe that one leads to a better life. Or just a liquor storage. That'll work too. Okay. Nothing worth investigating, so... Back to Paper City, or... Amazingly, just trash. Mm-hmm. So we're going to Paper City. It's Tigran, which was our last chance, Tigran's lair. For most of my life, I had a pretty good grasp on things and how they went down. If I'd need to describe myself in one word, it would probably be perceptive. That's my only redeeming quality, it seems. But this case is really testing my resolve. I just can't seem to wrap my head around it. It seems to me the more clues I uncover and more people I question, the further and further I am from solving it. So many unanswered questions. It's like some cliche crime movie from the 50s. At least I found out why they've closed the borders. They were trying to keep the doll and me out of Paper City. King and his goons showed Red the exit to Amber's house, but we managed to sneak into the city before he could get to her. Now, King has her locked up in his casino, and Red is probably on his way there already. Why are King and Mills working together? Nothing about this makes sense to me anymore. Am I losing my mind? And am I looking for reasoning in the city that will offer me none? What the hell is going on here? And most importantly, where is Flint? Has Red done something to him so he could draw out Amber? Why is she so important to him? It feels like I'm drowning under waves of uncertainty. I need to get some outside help. It is said when a man loses his way, he often finds salvation in things he never considered before. Uh, seems right up my alley. I have a lot of questions on my mind. The most important, however, is how to get Amber back. And the answers to all of these, I bet, I'll find in the things I never considered before. It's time to find Tigran Jones. All right, then. So we've got the same old stuff around, but we've got a couple of other things. Lock it, maybe. Maybe that'll help. I'm not throwing jewelry around. All right, then. What about the voodoo charm? Hmm. Nothing magical happens. What's this in the corner? Nothing. I am not touching that. End of discussion. All right, okay. Why did I not think of that sooner? A piece of lumber will crack this case. Brilliant. You sarky little bear. Can't tell if these are teeth or ribs. Either way, that has no place on a wall. Garage door? Looks like a garage door. Probably is one. Yeah, alright, okay. Uh, what if? Hmm, nothing magical happens. What about the plants? It's too delicate. Hmm. Just trying to think. Matches? I don't want to burn that. 
Hmm. So, I guess I should place some stuff on it. Ugh, this is so stupid. Couldn't be clearer. Right, let's have a look. Is it something with fire? Okay. Matches. There. I guess that's right. Looks like air. Hot air, if you ask me. Hot air. I'm so bad at these things. Is it an Earth symbol? Would definitely have to be you. There you go, little buddy. Water mm -hmm. element. Carrot juice. Or water. I'm really out of my element here. Judging by that sound design cue, I'd say it fits. What, what could the air elements be? Looks like air. Hot air. Voodoo charm, maybe? Hmm. Nothing magical happens. Not sure what you're going for here. Neither am I. Just trying to... I'm not throwing jewelry around. Am I missing something? Where am I going to find... A feather? Broken heart. It doesn't get more straightforward than this. to go back to, to the container terminal and find a feather. Of course, you yeah, had to. I'll take this, it could be useful. Right, okay. Got the final element, so that's fine, let's go back. Couldn't be clearer. This would actually make sense if I was a lunatic, but let's play ball for now. Have to be this. Maybe this will work. Hmm. I thought the obvious door would open. Didn't really expect the wall to open. So dark. Ha! <laughs> Trophy's called the fifth element. So dark I can barely see it. I didn't see it open. Alright. Your regular household supplies. Salt, butter, monkey skulls. Oh boy. An octopus. Something that can only be a human skull. A jar of eyes and a big wheel of cheese. Everything you need to make this place as creepy as possible. And shoes. Can't miss those. Alright. Wow. That's a big candle. Looks important for a nonsensical superstition, that is. Talk to Tigran in a second. If that thing starts moving, I'm out of here. No, I don't blame you. I'd be out of there as well, mate. Snake tree. It's covered with voodoo newspapers and voodoo cardboard. Magical. Nothing in the rounds. Left around, so. Let's 
talk. If it isn't Teddy Bear, the famous detective, you finally come to see me. You need my help, or you need a change of perspective? There's no hiding things from you, is there? Tigran knows everything, Teddy Bear. Then you know why I came to see you. You need my help to get the girl back from King. Wow, that's... that's exactly why I'm here. And what made you change your mind about seeking me out? You're running out of options, little bear. Listen, I'll be straight with you. All this voodoo mumbo-jumbo, I'm not really buying it. <laughs> Do I look like a saleswoman to you? Fair enough. I need your help. No one knows King better than you. Hmm. I don't know King anymore. He has lost his mind. Was there ever a time where he was, you know, sane? He is afraid, Bear, as we all are. Things have changed. From King's perspective, he is doing everything he can to save the city. To save himself. Even if that means handing Amber over to... The Red Man. Yeah, that's the plan. She's over there right now, entertaining his guests while he looks for his new buddy. Once he gets there, I don't know what's going to happen. The meeting between the two is inevitable, Bear. King wants to force it, but the girl will only face him once she is ready, not before. Until then, you have to take her out of the city. Deeper into the city she goes, and longer she stays, more difficult it will be for her to return. I don't have time for your riddles, goddammit. She's in danger. You are so backwards, Teddy Bear. You can't see what's right in front of you. The girl and the city, they share but one soul. And something is destroying her from the inside. What about her brother? She won't leave until we find him. The boy is not here, Bear. Are you sure? Where the hell is he? No one seems to know anything about the kid. There is but one man who could know where the boy is. Red. The Red Man and the girl are connected in more ways than one. They are on two sides of the same coin. Things she doesn't know, he knows. And things he's missing, she owns. How do I get Amber back from King? King has a weakness. The one I'm inclined to help you exploit. As long as these flames are lit, King cannot be harmed. So you're protecting him? Why are you doing this? You don't owe him anything anymore. King and I shared a strong bond. The one of the flesh and the soul. Traces of our bond can still be felt by both him and me. Also, I can't let him die until I make him change his will. Huh. Even the powerful Tigran Jones is not above the earthly things like money, it seems. It's only my money I'm after, Bear. Even the powerful Tigran Jones needs to eat, huh? All right. So, can you help me? I can. Mm -hmm. Okay. Will you help me? It is done. That's it? I don't feel like explaining all of this mumbo-jumbo to you, Teddy Bear. King is not under my protection anymore. Go and do what you need to do. And if I kill him? Ah, with my help or without, you'll find King won't be easy to take out. Red, what do you know about him? Oh, I know as much about him as I know about you. I'm not sure how to feel about this. Can you stop being so damn cryptic and give me a straight answer for a change? The past, present, and the future of the one you call Red is not up to you to know. Amber. The girl knows everything. She's just forgotten. What does he want with Amber? We will see. When the time comes. Of course. Well, this was as helpful as a kick in the head. Get the girl out of the city, Bear. You don't have much time left. She won't listen to me. She's looking for her brother. And unless I can somehow convince her he's not here, there's little I can do to change her mind. Wait, what do you mean we don't have much time left? Tonight, look for the rose petals in the wind. If you are not with her still when you see them, you might just die of a broken heart. Well, that's just great news. Ah, news is news, regardless of your opinion on them. That's the way the cookie crumbles, huh? Stop speaking in riddles, Ted. Ha, huh, good one. Anyways, it's not like I don't like hanging around creepy voodoo dens, but there's a damsel in distress waiting for me. Go and help her, Teddy Bear. Before I leave, I just want to check something. CBG gave me this thing he found at the steel mill after the fire. Do you know what it is? This is nothing but a worthless trinket. But your friend has too many bats in his head. Who knows where he found that? It's not a voodoo thing? It's not. 
You think King had something to do with this? Not anymore. I think I might have some other ideas about who burned down the mill. Yours is a world full of mystery and intrigue. Yeah, I'm really blessed. Anyways, it's been a blast. Don't stay up too late. <laughs> I like you, teddy bear. You have a kind heart. Be safe now. You're all right, too. See you around. Right, okay. So I guess we're going to be leaving now. Right. So the best thing to do, if I'm not mistaken, head back to the casino. The girl, Ted. She really is something else. At least we can agree on that. You don't seem to be surprised to see me here. As I already told you, there's not much going on in this city that I don't know about. So, you probably know where I went in the meantime. <sighs> did she? Did she agree to help you? She did. Does it matter anymore? You can have the girl back. Why the sudden change of heart? <sighs> it was stupid of me to think I could change the fate of this city. We owe everything to the girl. And if repaying that debt means we have to suffer in her place, then so be it. Doesn't have to be like this, King. You're a powerful man. Help me. Help me get this red bastard. You haven't met this guy, Ted. There is no stopping him. Why did you agree to help him in the first place? I, I thought I had no choice, Ted. That thing is going to destroy the entire goddamn city. What is he? He is everything you and I aren't. He is the antithesis to everything and everyone in this city. He is our undoing, Ted. Wow. You really were married to Tigran Jones. Would it kill you two to make sense sometimes? You will understand when the time is right. And when will that be? That's up to the girl. When she's ready. Did you tell your new buddy to come here tonight? What'll happen to you now that she'll be gone? <laughs> Seeing as you got Tigran to remove the spell from me, I'm not really optimistic about my chances, Ted. But don't worry. It's time to teach that red-hooded freak what happens when you try to threaten the king. You just get her out of this place, Ted. Get her out of this damn city. I'll try. You were always a thorn in my side, Bear. But I'd be lying if I said I didn't respect you. You just give him hell tonight. Oh. Oh, I intend to. So long, King. Dead. So now- We need to get out of the city, doll. Start fresh in the morning. What are you talking about? I'm not going anywhere until I find Flint. This is why we came here in the first place. Flint's not here. There's nothing here. We need to go back. It was a mistake coming here in the first place. So, all of this, it was a waste of time? I wouldn't call it a total waste, but it's not safe for you here. Oh, so now suddenly you're worried about my safety? Suddenly. You didn't want to come with me in the first place, remember? Then you dragged me to Paper City, and now you're telling me we should go back? Well, I'm not going. Oh, and I suppose I should just stick around and wait for someone to shoot me, because I can see it coming a mile away. Ugh, you're just being paranoid. Maybe Betty was right. Maybe what happened to CBG is happening to you now. I'll pretend you didn't just say that. Besides, did you forget we were just held captive by a notorious criminal? I need to get you away from this place, doll. No! I'm staying! I'm going to follow my leads for a change, and I'm going to find Flint with or without you. You can go back to your sad office you love so much. Oh, wow. You think I love being cooped up in that place? Has it ever crossed your mind? I set my office there so I can... What? Forget it. You're acting like a child, Amber. Anyways, it's clear to me you don't trust me anymore. And I'm positive you didn't tell me everything you know about this case. So... Seeing as you believe I'm slowing you down, I wouldn't want to be a burden on you. 
You've... you've called me by my name. What are you saying? I'm saying this is the point in the movie where we part ways, doll. Wait, you're really going to leave me here? Alone? Frankly, my dear, I... Don't you dare quote movies at me. Hey, this is your city, right? No one is safe here more than you. But what about the Red Man? You know what? Fine, leave. It's not like I really need you anymore. I'm capable of doing things on my own. I figured as much. Just wanted to hear you say it. Well, see you around, doll. Well, the plot certainly has thickened, hasn't it? Now the mystery has very, very slowly come together and there's still a lot of loose ends that we need to figure out in Paper City. But, that will have to come in time. Because as you know, I've got a lot to get through. So, thank you very much for joining me on this episode of James Games and with Bear With Me Episode 2. Definitely been a while since I've done this. And, yeah, it was good fun. Very, very sorrowful music right now. But yeah, thank you for joining me on this episode of James Games. But we shall return for the final part of Bear With Me with episode 3. So, thank you for joining me on this episode of James Games. And I hope that you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, please drop a like below. Drop us a comment. Let us know what you think about what is currently going on in this story. Are you enjoying it? Are you not enjoying it? I mean, do you th what do you think is going to happen in part three? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to World Minus One Entertainment. And if this is your first time on the channel, please have a look at all of the other content that is currently available on the channel. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that subscription bell. Um, link to episode one will be in the description below so make sure you check that up so you are up to date with everything and finally you know share the video as well because the more shares the more views the more now i get to do this for you because everything i do i do it for you so thank you very much for joining me on this episode of james games and i will see you next time for some more fun some more games take it easy everyone